Hello ladies and gentlemen, here is the new Nissan Aria. So this is their first fully electric SUV and this is the first production model on this place. So we're in France in Lyon, so we're gonna check this beautiful SUV. Has a lot of clean lines, uh, definitely interesting. A lot of the daytime running lights, they're kind of sharp. And on top you have the main LED headlights plus uh, the daytime running lights turn into turn signals. So uh, this is interesting color because it's a chameleon. It uh, switches from purple to dark purple to dark green. It's a metallic color with two coat uh, layers. And on the bottom we have like piano black uh, plastic. So let's come and check it a little bit closer. It's a very big SUV. So this is the daytime running light and then you have like lenses inside for the main light, uh, interesting details. So you have here air tunneling on the side, you see that. And 360 parking sensors. Uh, it's a nice clean design, little piano black on the top. You have the Nissan badge, which illuminates. Uh, and then this closed grill. I believe there should be a radar behind this for emergency braking and cruise distance. There's also a wide lens camera here for parking. You can see also fog lights on the bottom and since it's electric car only intake on the bottom that's enough for cooling the battery system so looking gorgeous so if we move to the front you can see the nice heads-up display and there's a little flashing green light over there wonder if that's for something related to the battery uh, you have the lane assist camera light and range sensor you have also some sensors here and it looks like the windshield if you can see this maybe not it has heaters so it's a heated windshield so you can see here now it's like a dark green color on the top it switches to purple it depends from which side the light is hitting the car we're gonna check the spec at the end of the video black contrasting mirrors you have the blind spot for the driver if I back up here a little bit you can see the whole profile of the car a little bit more there you go has a nice line nice contours and you can see that piano black skirt now these are interesting alloys so I wanted to show you them this is diamond cut silver on black plus the gray part is plastic hubcaps can be removed these are 255 45 r20 so 20 inch alloys you can see we have tinted windows on the back and we have the beautiful banner roof that can be open have a black shark fin antenna and then you can see this is not like a shiny chrome this is like a matte aluminium finish really elegant following the contour, contour like of the aerodynamics and we have the spoiler that's slooping down and it's tunneling the air down now check here you have the stoplight integrated into the spoiler we have also beautiful LED taillights if we go to the other side we can also see the wiper it just goes halfway so usually there's smaller wipers that go 90 degrees. Now if I back up, you can see the whole car. You can see the diffuser on the bottom with cat eyes. And you can see a little more premium looking Nissan inside. It's sort of like Porsche design. Uh, and Ari on the bottom and I love the LED connected taillights so over here we have LED white lights for the license plate illumination we have a backing camera two buttons one to open and another one to close so if I back up you can see the whole car in the frame it opens fairly tall and you have a really big accessible uh, storage space it's a nice flat bottom so you can easily put cargo inside or you can sit in here you're covered now uh, you can 
move this up so you can see there's more room like that and it extends to this end this one's covered and then you have additional space underneath so let's see if we can do this put that like that and then this one can also go up you can see this is a lot better so more room so it adds like five six fingers of height and there's Bose amplifier or a subwoofer and a patching kit I guess underneath the foam is the battery so let's put this back so this shelf can also be raised up but doesn't have a place to get down there are two tether points down there and So you can put the golf clubs here that's we have this area there's to the point here and here grocery hooks on both ends and cold lights on both ends and there is this strap here i don't see a 12 volt outlet honestly trying to look didn't miss you can tilt the seats as you can see and they knock down 60 40 no middle opening you have the shelf here you can remove that very easy and it's quite big I didn't clean the dust here and you can close this up manually if the electronics fail you can see inside there's rubber stoppers you can either close or just I mean lock or just close so that's really elegant looking on the rear and let's go around from this end try to show you the whole car it just looks super elegant I love the contours and then on the side mirror okay there's a 360 parking system obviously camera in the mirror and let's see the charge port is on the uh, right side of the car remember this is Asian brand so they usually have the steering wheel on the right side instead of the left so they probably that's the reason why they've put it the charger here not on the left side of the car so here you have the type 2 for AC slow charging and then the combined CCS for DC fast charging so this is the European standard and this is also now becoming a standard in North America I can assume that maybe this will cover the whole world in the future because Europe and North America have this system and also you have this little light here maybe it changes colors once the car is either charging or when it's charged over here let's see looks like we might have yeah nozzles in the wipers and look at the panna roof I wonder if it has a frunk so let's get on the front and let's get inside the driver's seat so we have a key just for a short to demonstrate to you the infotainment switching to wide lens you can see now the cockpit very open space and then you have two screens on the top and a nice dash let's see if you can close this to see it hear the soundproof a lot better zooming back in now we have a two-spoke steering wheel flat bottom have this illumination uh, for the buttons for the volume control cruise control you have a gorgeous big screen and uh, on the side we have like in one piece also a second screen change the language to English so just to go through the settings here if we go to back uh, you can see here if we change the infotainment it's quite responsive so you can see here you can see everything next one really love the responsiveness of the screen you can change here the radio stations you can see here forward blind spots lanes uh, there's a warning here no key and settings so you can hear ESP settings 
on, driver assistance, plenty of them. I'm gonna go through every menu because we don't have time for that, but you can see here all the setup. Head-up display, I uh, don't have the key so I can't show that. Tire pressure and clock, vehicle settings, EV settings. So there's a lot of options. You can control through the main screen here. So the car shows over, so they're kind of honking. Close the windows. Um, basically a lot of settings. If you go here back, you can see here the speedo. Uh, to go to this one, so you have the home menu, uh, we have the navigation, you have the Nissan uh, settings here to check for the chargers, and here you can go to the other menus, you see about your consumption, you can customize these obviously, as shown, and over here you have other settings, there's like menus under menus, there's software updates, uh, map updates for the air, Nissan Service Connect, parking, EV. There's plenty of options here. So here you can see the seat options. Uh, it's sad that I can't show it to you all. You can see the this climate control uh, music. You can see here navigation is also uh, looking amazing. And uh, you can range to zoom in and zoom out. It's really responsive, so this is really amazing, uh, honestly. So that's it. Um, and once again, you can see when it's darker, this really looks amazing. I love those details. I mentioned that. Uh, that's it. And a little wide lens before you go, you can see how that looks gorgeous. Here we have the climate control, but uh, on the bottom, you also have these. And look at these, these are excellent looking. <clears throat> so they're kind of, you can feel them when you press them. And so it goes yellow, so max blow, rear defrost, climate, fan speed, on or off. You have the automatic, close the air circulation. So this really feels super elegant. I love this solution. And over here we have the hazards, they're next to the air vents you can control. And here are pages uh, next. So let's hear some volume. So I can play for too long, I get to get a copyright strike. You can hear it close the infotainment or mute. And it looks really elegant. Here's the parking, uh, reverse neutral drive. You push it back and forward, you have to press here. And here you have the automatic parking, e-pedal, you can change driving modes to sport, standard, or echo. And you can feel this, you can like click them, have a wireless charger here, I guess, and oh, that's in the glove compartment. So over here you have a wireless charger, there's a little cubby here as well. You have to press this. And of course you can move this all the way back and forward. And over here you have the cup holders, so this is the key. Bob, so you can see that you have the lock, unlock, and unlock, lock the cargo area, adjustable cup hold holders, there's a rubber mat here, and it really looks high quality with this wood theme, especially on the dash, and over here you can open like a glove box and close it. Of course, this is the start button, and here you have the parking brake. On the side here you have the, uh, I guess, steering, uh, you can maybe open the front bonnet, charging, hold, auto hold, and open or close from the inside. Singles, perforated leather, you have the big heads up display there, you can see that if I zoom in, you can see that. It's very nice, very responsive, infotainment, and I like the interior quality. There's leather here, there's Alcantara here. It's softly padded. You have the Bose speakers, nice design. And there's a little light there. And you saw the mirror turned into a screen for the backing camera, so that's quite nice. And you have here uh, like options 
inside menus and so on. So once you turn this menu, you can press OK. And then here you can play with the settings, maybe with the dimming and so on. That's cool. On the top, you can open or close the sunroof or the shade. You have the emergency call or the road assistance, as passenger airbag information and uh, lock. Right here we have a warm light on the top, privacy mirror. You can put the document here. This doesn't extend, but maybe something to add in the future. Uh, on the front for the two meter tall person, I didn't actually lower the seat. So let's see, this is the lowest position, but I think I'm okay. I'm touching a little bit with the hair, but it's okay. And the seats are really comfortable. Bigger bolsters on the sides. This is Alcantara inside, this is leather. So it's perforated probably has a cooling and a heating option you can see over there memory seats over here and here you can lock or unlock the car you can fold the mirrors all automatic windows you can lock the rear ones um, that's pretty much it uh, get outside so the rest of the people can browse the car as well Let's just come back to the doors. You can see good seals, double ceiling, and they has a good ceiling on the inside as well. So this is front soft, soft leather padded. It's a little combo dark and light leather. This is all soft, lock on lock, mirrors, all automatic power windows. You can lock the rear. Interesting speaker design, and this there's ambient lights here. This looks gorgeous. Okay, this might be the speaker, this may be just the ambient lights, not sure, but definitely looks good. You have the memory seats, good space for some bottles. I guess this is your tire pressure information. And uh, just to show you here the seats, they felt comfortable. Alcantara has leather, perforated. You can see the top and seats are back and forward, up and down knee area, the whole seat tilt and lumbar you can also see paddles and you also have ambient lights over there and there's a lot of space here because there is no um, transmission tunnel over here you can see those uh, steering is electronic that's a nice feature and um, just to come back a little bit to show you this once you back up this all the way You can see here you have the USB C and the USB A, and you have a 12 volt outlet. You can put a phone here, perhaps. Not sure if this has any functionality, maybe to route your cables. I don't want to break something. And you have the Aria carpets. So, this is not like your regular carpets, these look like your home carpets. I guess they want you to feel like at home. Uh, we're gonna pop the bonnet see uh, on the front if there's a front and then we're gonna go back to the uh, rear bench and check out the space so just above the badge push it to the left and voila there's no front obviously you have to use a little leg so there's your uh, Nissan electric motor setup and a uh, great thing is your washer fluid and you can see the opening mechanism and you can see the front close it up yeah. also good opening and closing sound on both doors maybe the handle is a little bit noisier and this really opens wide so look at this this is almost like 90 degrees if the Qashqai has a better opening so good seals on the rear this is all soft, soft, same as on the front, same design. You have this little piano black, feels nice because it's shiny, but just a small detail. And over here you have the speaker, same here. So you have these leather seats here, Alcantara again. Oh, they've added a beige buckle and seat belt. I really like that. I, I dislike when it's black 
and not matching the seats. You have this uh, as a seat belt holder, so you can, I guess, unbutton this and then click it back. And let me just show you, if you knock down the patch, it automatically pushes. So you can see you have a flat area and that space on the top is also very long. And for the tilt, not sure if there is an tilt option. So there is also this, so this could hold your seatbelt. For instance, if you, I guess, remove it from here, and you here have the anchors for the isofix. Let's sit inside. Good closing sound, you have feet room. It's a little bit tight, but enough. You have a knee room. It's okay. Some pockets here and textile on the top. This is some sort of hard material, but textiled. Interesting headrest. And I like this detail. And look at this. This is beautiful. It's like a wood. Feels like an open pore, but I don't think this is real wood. And then you can here move this and move this. So it's like open or closed. And here you have the heated seats, USB, C and A. So this is nice for the transition time. So this is a lot closer now because it's backed up all the way. So if I push this forward, then this whole uh, thing can move. This is nice and soft over here. And let's see the armrest. A little plasticky, but leather's nice and soft. And the seats are really wide, so you have plenty of space. It's nice and comfortable. Have a long, big windows, and it's a good overview on the rear. Of course, you have the shade here and the roof that opens or closes. And for a two meter tall person, my back is straight, but can't really straighten up. If I lower down, let's say if I was 185, maybe 190, I would be okay, then my hair would be touching. But for an average person, there should be plenty of headspace on the rear. And I really love the fact that you have big windows and big doors, so there's a lot of light coming in, and especially if you have the fan roof. And I love the front dash, it's very minimalist. Love that wood and how they've integrated those buttons that are in the wood trim. And really just love the minimalist dash altogether. And there's one rolling button. Uh, before we exit, there are lights here on the top. Just press and touch, has like two sensitivities. There's a hooks here and it's just not slowly closing, but still you have handles on the top, which are functional and you can adjust the height. Oh, look at this. This is a seat belt I have in my Model 3, just in black. Also Mercedes uses these. So that was the Aria. And it looks like you can adjust the brightness, you can see that. So if you're driving at night, you can lower the contrast. And if you're driving at day, you can increase it. So a lot of interesting details in this car. I like the way where Nissan is going with this. And let's see the spec in France. So I think this is supposed to be 242 horsepower electric. Obviously, there's 57,400 uh, euros uh, price tag for this car, and the rest is pretty much all in French, which I don't know very little. Uh, there's maybe um, pearl color option of 1,000 euros, but that's more or less it. So uh, there we go. That was the Aria, and you can see the lights now when they're on. You have those projectors. And guess this is the long beam. We move here. So that's a nice detail. Let's see if we can turn on the hazards. If I would, uh, yeah, remember where they were. So over here, just to see them. So you can see that daytime running lights turn into hazards or turn signals. 
can see them here and to check them on the rear to wrap it up you can see on the rear there are, they are dynamic so that's nice definitely again love the new aria look and type in the comments below how do you like the nissan's electric suv if you want to see more from leon subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when i upload more videos